how to use GPS on your phone for land surveying an area. That I will tell you in this video. This is an Android phone, my Android phone. And this Android phone has a GPS, just like your phone. With a GPS you can use a navigation and by using navigation you won't get lost. But you can also use GPS for other things, like for example geocaching. Geocaching is just a game using GPS, finding something. But there is another thing what you can do with using GPS on your phone, and that is land surveying an area. To use GPS on your phone to land survey an area, you need only one app, and that app is AppGloss Survey Wizard. Let's install AppGloss Survey Wizard from the Google Play Store. When you want to install a land survey app for Android, we need to go to the Google Play Store. So we click on the icon and then we go to the search bar and we type in a land survey app. Then we click search and here we see lots of different apps. But we want a land survey app for Android that works. So we go to AppGloss Survey Wizard because we know that works. And then we click install. And then we have to wait a little bit. And it's installing. I will tell you a little bit how AppGloss Survey Wizard works. This is the main screen for land surveying. And in that screen you can land survey uh, objects that are points, lines, arcs. Points, lines, arcs, polylines and polygons. And to survey the area with a GPS of your phone, you need some buttons in Ablo Survey Wizard. The first one is the point button. And we can zoom in, of course. The other one is the polyline button. And then we also have the polygon button. Those are all the buttons you need for land surveying an area with a GPS on your phone in this app, AppGloss Survey Wizard. This is how to use GPS on your phone to land survey an area. And this area of grass we will land survey this time with my phone. So let's start. So the first thing what we do is to start a new drawing. And then what Raymond always says is that every object has a name so we make a layer and we call it area very nice name and then we give it a color and we give it the color grass is green so we <laughs> do okay and okay and then we select the layer so then we go to the point of the grass and we click on point and then here we are at the second point and here we do polyline and then we move to the next point And here we are at the third point, and we do polyline again. The fourth point, polyline. Seven point, polyline. Eight point, polyline. Another one. We're almost there. Another point. And then we're going to the last point. Hello, we're going to the last And in the last point we will do something different. 
and then when we're on the last point we click on polygon and then we have a closed area so now i used a gps on my phone to land survey this area and raymond will check this area with his complete gps surveying kit so uh, raymond will land survey this area the same area as i measured with the dps on my phone but he will do it with a complete gps surveying kit I like to see Raymond work while I'm just sitting on this bench in the sun. Let's determine the area of this polygon that we just surveyed and to do so we can go to the screen menu then we go to calculate we select area and the polygon is already selected so the only thing we need to do is to click the calculate button and the area that Eblos survey wizard calculated with the GPS of the phone is 900 68 square meters so we measured and surveyed this area with gps on my phone and we had a total area of 968 square meters but raymond also uh, measured and surveyed this area with his complete gps surveying kit and there the area we calculated is 1395 square meters so there is a big difference between land surveying on your phone and land surveying with a complete GPS surveying kit. If you just want to have an indication, then land surveying with a phone is okay. But if you want to have accuracy, if you want to have it actual good results, then land surveying with a complete GPS surveying kit is the way to go. This is how to use GPS on your phone to land survey an area. But if you want to know more about topographic surveying, then check out this video next to me.